heard the very famous quote from Benjamin Franklin, the only certainties in life are death and taxes. Within a few years of the end of the Civil War, black people were forced to find creative ways to bury their dead and make sure they buried them with dignity. And a way that they did that was with benevolent societies. LPB's Dorothy Kendrick brings us this special right in time for Juneteenth. During the early 1900s, late 1800s, large capitalized insurance companies were not writing insurance on African-Americans. And in an insurance policy, you have the cost, that's the value you're gonna pay back once the person's deceased. Then you have corporate overhead, home office, and you may have field overhead. And then finally, you have a profit. These societies stepped in, they saw a need in the African-American community to provide a service for those individuals that did not have a lot of resources to pay upon the death of one of their loved ones. According to the 1870s census, West Feliciana Parish had more than 10,000 residents. Most were African-Americans whose families had worked on the huge plantations in the area. Some of the society made an assessment of 25 cents Per month. And this would insure them for a policy maybe in the $200 to $500 range. Well, in the early 1960s and 1970s, funeral costs was not as high as it is today. You could get a grand funeral in the 1960s for $500. In the 1970s, it moved up because of inflation, and you could get a grand funeral for about $1,500. If you had a death in your organization, the funeral home would have to wait perhaps maybe 90 days to collect the fee that they were supposed to pay out. In the meantime, the society would go back and do what they call a special assessment. They would tax each individual $5 per month, and that would be utilized to pay the funeral home. And therefore, they were not dipping into the 25 cent they collected each month. And God forbid if a society had a two or three deaths, that would really put their back against the wall. So at the end of the day, it's a partnership. It's a partnership between the society, it's a partnership between the church, and a partnership between the funeral home. You had blacks in this community, in St. Francisville, that would go to that benevolent society because it was sort of tethered according to where your locale was in this parish. There are other benevolent societies here that are further up the road that service those group of people. When I was small, maybe about three years old or four, we would always go to Pleasant Green Baptist Church. They would have like an anniversary, second Saturday in June every year. They would sell homemade ice cream and slices of cake, raising money for films. You can walk through many cemeteries today and tell a great deal about a family's resources more than 100 years ago. From walking through the cemetery, there are quite a few vaults with no headstones, and that comes down to resources. You go from a grand headstone to no headstone at all. They just don't have the resources after they pay for the funeral. But you can see graves that have been finalized. There's only a headstone there, and a lot of times there's no marker, there's no identification on the headstone. So you have some individuals buried in here that we have no idea who they are. As a lady, you see right there, buried there, and told me she was going to send some money back, never heard anything for it. We would let them bury what they had to give to them because this place had to be kept up. Just about every church had a society to help cover funeral expenses. The building itself was so sacred that you could not take pictures in there. A type of membership where you just did not expose a lot of what was going on. However, membership cards, things of that nature, I kept through the years, showing the membership dues that my, my daddy was paying when he was a 20 year old. I have a badge that my grandfather would wear at funerals, showing that he was an Old Benevolent Society member. It has these little iron tassels attached to it, and all the men would wear that and be very refined coming into the church, managing funeral services and things of that nature. The first black insurance company, North Carolina Mutual, was formed in 1898. Businessman Arthur G. Gaston later established the Booker T. Washington Insurance Company. Purple Shield was a black insurance company in Baton Rouge, and eventually white insurance companies started insuring blacks. 
As time progressed, a lot of the insurance companies were bought out. They merged or were bought out by white insurance companies. West Feliciana Parish residents, both black and white, have joined forces to restore and preserve the Old Benevolent Society's building in St. Francisville. It will be used largely as a museum. The building is in the heart of town, right across from the Historical Society. The average cost of both a funeral and a burial plot is nearly $10,000 in Louisiana.